channel. So today's video is going to be a cream highlight contour and baking tutorial. I'm super excited for today's video because so much has changed from me doing my everyday, well not everyday, but doing my uh, cream contour highlight routine and stuff like that. I showed you guys one last year and I gave you guys tips on how to contour around face and highlight and what to do, what not to do. So definitely if you're a beginner to um, contouring and highlighting, make sure you check that video out because I gave a lot of helpful tips um, about contouring around face instead of bringing it out like most tutorials that you see. It's brought in and looks slim and nice. So definitely check that video out and then in this video um, I'm just showing you guys an updated product list of what I use and of course how to bake. I'm new to baking and I really like it. I just want to give you a mini disclaimer about baking. Baking is not meant for every day. You can do it if you want to but it's mainly meant for if you're going to be taking pictures in HD, if you're going to be um, doing videos so your uh, makeup just looks a lot better and holds up a lot nicer. I do see a difference in baking and I don't do it on the day to day basis because it is very unnatural so if you guys want to see an everyday highlight and contour um, routine for me make sure you comment that down below so I can show you guys how I still slim my face in uh, conceal my dark circles and everything but still look natural and it's not too much on my face this is very heavy I'm going to be honest this is what I do when I'm going out somewhere if I'm going to a party I'll be taking pictures or something like that or I'm um, getting glammed up that's when I will do this but I do not do this on a day-to-day -day basis feel free to but it's just a lot of makeup personally for me and also really quickly I did feature these two concealers these are the LA Pro uh, Conceal HD concealers and these are just amazing I was tweeting um, about wanting to try these and quick little story the first time I brought these was from a local beauty supply store and when I opened it literally water was coming out so I tweeted like what to do and someone told me to shake it up before that but I was like, you know what, I don't even want to deal with that. I brought it back to the store and I got these two other ones and they work perfectly except for this one. It is more watery so I have to shake it up but other than that, the formula is amazing. I absolutely love it. This is absolutely... This is absolutely going to be mentioned in a favorites video for this month, so I will wait until then to talk about it more. I didn't want to do a review because these have been around for years, hyped on YouTube, so I will um, talk more about them in my favorites video. But um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also gave you tips on how to avoid flashback, which I know um, women of color, that's a major thing, especially when using loose translucent powder. I haven't yet to try banana powder. I do want to try that, but I will make a video about trying it and stuff like that, but I definitely want to show you guys how to get away with using translucent powder without having flashback. I'm done rambling, this is a talk through, so I don't want this to be longer than it needs to be. So let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. All right guys, so I have my eyes done. If you guys like this eye look, then um, make sure you check out the link down below. I did a tutorial on this, it's called Casual Winter Glam. And I also gave you guys an outfit idea because I'm trying to incorporate fashion on my channel. So definitely check this out. I just added different lashes. They are very dramatic, so I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash light after I do my concealer, but anyway, Anyway, let's get back to this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face and I use two different primers for this. You guys know I'm combination skin, meaning that in my T-zone I'm super or oily. <laughs> I am super oily and then around my face I am dry so that's why I use two face primers so the first one I use is the Maybelline Blur and Smooth face primer this is only eight dollars and I love the consistency it comes out like a white cream exactly like this and I use this in my t-zone it's not a mattifying primer but it's definitely um, blurs the appearance of my pores and it definitely helps with my oils not coming through it controls my oils but again it doesn't make me look matte or anything it's just I don't know, it's just perfect. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. This is $6, and I got this at Walmart, and it's just amazing. I don't know why I'm telling you guys the prices. Um, it comes out like a clear consistency, and it's kind of like a gel primer, it feels like. And I'm just going to put this on the outer perimeter of my face. And I'm sorry, I'm looking this way because my mirror is over here. So I really, really love this primer. These two together make my foundation look amazing. So now I like to wait at least 5 to 10 minutes for my primers to sit in. I usually prime my face first and then do my eyes, but I forgot um, to do that because I was doing the video. So I'm just going to let that sit for 10 minutes and then I will be back. Alright guys, so I'm not sure how long it's been, but I felt the primer and it's tacky, which is good because the Maybelline primer has glycerin in it, which is amazing for any primer because 
because it's going to help your makeup adhere to that. It's going to help your foundation stick and last longer. So I know my foundation is ready to be applied when it starts to get tacky and when my Elf Hydrating Primer barely feels like it's there, then it's okay for me to apply my foundation. So for foundation today, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish <laughs> Foundation in Honey Beige Medium 4. This is a little bit too light for me, but I do make it work. So I take two pumps on the back of my hand. I grab my Damp Beauty Blender. This is really a Real Techniques um, blending sponge, which you guys know what I mean. And I just began to pounce on all my face. I find that this foundation works best with a sponge just because the formula is supposed to give you an airbrush finish. So when I was using a stipple brush, it did not come out nice at all. It came out very cakey and streaky, but using this, it gives me a flawless finish. Alright guys, my lips will dry with the hair desert, so I need some Carmex on these bad boys, especially because I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick after this, so much better. And I just bring it on my forehead. And the pointy side, I know it's meant for concealer too, but this is amazing for getting around like your eyebrows and stuff like that and just making sure it's blended all the way in with your hairline. That's my main thing because this foundation is a little bit too light for me I feel like because it matches my skin tone perfectly but not my neck so I just want to make sure it gets on my hairline, side of my ears. Okay so my foundation is on. This is what I like to use for a day to day basis. Something very light so I really like this. It is not buildable because again it's airbrushed so it's not going to give you that full coverage. It's just it's just gonna make you have like a flawless look which I think it gives me so now we're gonna move into concealer I'm taking my LA uh, Pro Girl concealer in Omen and I'm going to obviously use this to conceal my dark circles and kind of highlight because even though this is natural you still want to um, have your face even and not just one place highlighted so what I like to do is just squeeze that a little bit and begin to just bring it down like this I don't know how to explain it I don't drag my concealer out just because that will make my face appear wider I did do a full highlight and contour routine for a round face um I'll leave that link down below so you guys can see why I contour and highlight this way so if you guys are interested definitely check that out and also I will be doing an updated routine so I bring it down like this and especially on the side of my nose to slim my nose down only one shade, I think maybe two shades lighter than my skin tone just because I want a natural highlight so I didn't want to go too bright. And now to blend that out I'm going to take my e.l.f. small stipple brush. I used to use my uh, beauty blender but I feel like this just is just so much better and sometimes because the beauty blender is damp I feel like it can soak up some of the product. Blending out the concealer and you're using a brush, be sure to do like light strokes, very soft strokes at that. Don't smear it down because that's going to take the concealer off and defeat the whole purpose of it. And this is a very, mm, I say medium to full coverage concealer. And so far I'm really loving it. It's so creamy and just a dream to blend out. Look how easy it blends out. It's amazing. And like I said before, it's very close to my skin tone, so you don't see that much of a highlighting effect. So now I'm going to take my translucent powder. This is by Airspun, and this is highly raved about on YouTube. Everybody and their mom is using it nowadays. So I'm just taking some of that powder on my e.l.f. concealer brush, and I'm just going to pop that underneath the eye. sure I really get this underneath it to avoid any creasing and I'm just swing this everywhere we put our concealer so now I'm just gonna dust it off using this powder brush by um, equal tools usually I don't bake for long I'll do my concealer under one eye start baking that and then go ahead and do the other eye and bake that <laughs> but for the sake of the video and the pictures in the thumbnail I just did it at one time and you just really want to make sure you're dusting all of that off really good. So now I know some women of color who use um, not only this translucent powder, but any translucent powder, they can experience flashback or ashiness kind of like this. So to avoid that, you're going to want to set with another powder that's close to your skin tone. Now dry girls, don't be scared because if you're like me, uh, I'm very dry under my eyes. This will not make you look cakey powdery or anything. So now I just take the same brush that I apply my airspun powder with and now I'm just going to take some of this and this is the Maybelline, oops, <laughs> the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Powder in Toffee. 
And this is nothing like the foundation, just so you guys know. The color is so far from it, it's ridiculous. So now I'm just gonna go over with this powder everywhere we bake. Now I'm just gonna grab my beauty blender using the side we use to apply our foundation with, and I'm just gonna, you know, pounce it in just to make sure everything is set and blended in. There's no harsh lines between the powder and our foundation. The key to everything is blending. So now to cream contour, I'm going to take my LA Pro Girl Concealer in Toast. So I know some people um, will put their concealer on and their contour at the same time and blend it all together. I don't know, I just feel like I'd rather just do my concealer and highlighting, blend that, set that and everything, and then go in with my contour. That's just me. Especially if you're dry, I recommend doing one at a time. Because it can soak into your skin and make it hard to blend out, it's just, ugh, it's not good, I don't think. <laughs> so I'm just going to... And... <gasps> Oh, water from the concealer just went on my mirror. I don't know if you guys can see that or if you can see it on my face and oh my gosh. Okay, so now to blend that out, I'm going to take my e.l.f. stipple brush. I don't know why I'm looking at the name, clearly. Um, I'm just going to blend out my contour, and I'm just going to blend it up. And then after the majority of it is blended up, then I'll just go and blend it back and forth. If you guys want to know all about why I contour this way, make sure you check out the video linked down below or just wait until I do my updated one, which will be up in the next three weeks. So subscribe if you want to see that. And I'm done with promoting that video. <laughs> put your contour here but also bring it up to your eyebrow because that's where the slimming starts so you want to bring it up so it looks natural <laughs> Um, heavy with the nose contour take a little bit of your foundation and when I say a little bit I mean a little bit like this is all you want and then just dot it on your nose and then go ahead and blend that out that's gonna help it blend in a lot better and not be so harsh a lot. So now I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just blend that out. So now to set my contour, I'm just going to reach into my e.l.f. Um, not my e.l.f. My Ulta contour kit book. And I'm just going to set it with a bombshell bronzer right here. It's very cool and light and it's my favorite. And I'm just taking this uh, fluffy brush. This is an e.l.f. complexion brush. And I'm just going to set it. Intensify it and bring my cheekbones in a smidge more. Also, my review on the contour kit will be up on Friday. And to set my nose contour so it's not too harsh, I'm going to take warm bronzer. And this is the shade I use to normally just contour my nose when I'm just doing powder. I'll mix warmth and bombshell together, and that just is like the perfect contour but sometimes you know if I want to be a little extra or if I'm going out I will go ahead and create contour and also I just wanted to show you guys if you contoured a little too low by accident like you see how this one's up high and nicely and sharp and this one is a little 
big and down here what you're gonna do is just take a powder I'm going to use the powder that's close to my skin tone because the translucent powder can be a little ashy and just take the side of my uh, powder brush and go right underneath my contour and that really just sharpens it up and brings my face in together so remember you don't want a lot So now for a blush and a powdered highlight, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Contour Kit in Medium to Dark. I did a whole review on it, so definitely check it out if you're interested. I absolutely love this, so I'm going to take the blush and take my e.l.f. blush brush and apply this to the apple of my cheeks. Now I'm just going to highlight brush using the more pointy side of the brush actually so now I'm just going to finish off my eyes and apply my lipstick and then I will be back to show you guys the last step all right guys so I'm back I have done my eyes and my lips um I'll leave the liquid lipstick I'm wearing down below in the description box if you're interested as well as this makeup tutorial I tried something different with my eyes and I look like a raccoon so <laughs> not too happy with that but good thing i'm not really leaving the house i just had to film this tutorial so now to finish everything off and set everything in place i'm going to take my nyx setting spray so just because i use so much powder and very dry this is why i use the dewy but if you are oily definitely use matte so this is just going to help soak up some of the powder on her face and this is also just going to help everything last for a much longer time so i'm going to shake it up and then i'm just going to spray my face My cream highlight contour and baking tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed remember if you want to see an everyday more toned down naturalish highlight and contour routine please let me know because I will definitely film that for you because that's part of my everyday makeup because I do like to conceal my dark circles and contour a little bit but I do powder so if you want to see that I will definitely make sure to film that for you guys but um yeah other than that make sure if you have any other requests for videos leave them down below so I can add them to the list and do that but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one Bye. So today's video is going to be a cream contour and highlight, uh, okay, I was just saying that wrong. Hot, holy. Because it can soak into your stick. Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Today's video is going to be, welcome back to my video, okay. In this video, I just showed you guys an updated version of my, con I just showed you, okay. An updated version of my cream contour and, okay, I can't talk. Because in this video, I just showed you that, so, in, oh god, okay. But in this video, I just showed you guys an updated products of what I use. Okay.